What up nerds, it's Jason here from Custom Cans and normally I'd be like reviewing headphones or going through some product design type stuff but today I've got news, exciting headphone news. Grado slash Grado have been making manufacturing errors in some of their new headphones which we've recently discovered and I thought I'd just go through that because it's, uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. As you may know we get quite a lot of Grado headphones in for modifications and repairs and things like that so we'll swap out the cables do detachable cable mods that kind of thing so we get to pull them apart quite often and see changes they make to the way they're made and recently we've noticed on a couple of models that there's a manufacturing error with some of the Grado drivers it's just the odd one but obviously we only get in I don't know maybe one a day or something like that and we've seen it on two or three different pairs now so it must be there must be quite a few out there with this problem. Oh, well, let me just use my fancy new overhead camera arm thing. Hold on. Let's get, let's get in there. Let me just interrupt you for a second to remind you to like and subscribe. You know, all this stuff is quite expensive for us to sort out. So subscribers, comments, all that kind of stuff, any interaction you can give with the, with the page would be great because it really helps us build the channel, get some more money, help pay for this kind of thing. But anyway, uh, back to the interesting news. So here we have your standard Grado driver, which is a pretty normal driver in the way they're constructed. So these ones have got a bit of fabric over the top and a bit of plastic to protect the diaphragm. And on the back here, you've got a magnet and you've got this area here covered with tissue paper with holes in. And those holes allow the air in and out of the back of the driver. So a lot of the tuning is done with that. So poking out more of these holes generally lets the driver move more and you get a bit more base blocking them off, makes that base a bit tighter. So finding that balance, the number of holes will vary between drivers. Now I've got another Grado driver here with a different number of holes in the back. So you can see this one's got one, two, three, four, five. This one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven poked out the back. But other than that, they're pretty similar. So these have been tuned for different models probably. But yeah, they're both a pretty much the same driver but this one we've pulled apart so as i said we've got the magnet on the back here and what that does whoop, voice call out so you've got a stationary magnet and attached to this diaphragm we've got a, a voice coil so essentially an electromagnet so as the signal comes in forms a magnetic field which pushes against the magnet and then moves this diaphragm in and out and the diaphragm essentially pushes the air in and out and that diaphragm is pretty important like you know the shape of it the integrity of it is pretty important but what we have spotted on a couple of models is where they've poked these holes through the back they must be using some kind of heat to melt them out possibly because we've noticed on the diaphragms there's actually little melted holes through the diaphragm we've seen this on a couple of models so here here are a few example images so here you can see quite a noticeable hole in that one. Some of them have just got uh, just a little tiny dimple out of them. But again, you've got a hole in the diaphragm, which will be affecting the airflow. Because obviously that's not a sealed membrane anymore. It's got a hole through it and it will have been weakened slightly. So I, they still sounded OK. Like you listen to them, you wouldn't know it was really a problem. But it's not right. You shouldn't have a hole in, melted through your diaphragm. And we've seen this on a couple of models. So, uh, yes. Yeah, quite interesting the only way you can really I don't, I don't know whether you'd be able to tell just by looking at it because you've got a bit of fabric over that side and on the other side you'll have the mesh through so it's really only if you open up the headphones and have a look through the holes on the back you can see if the membrane's been damaged but I just thought I'd uh, I'd put that out there you know if you're a member of any forums that deal with grados or any reddit groups or anything like that I'd probably share this video on there because it's something that people kind of need to see and I th I think James has fed this back. He's done a support form with Grado just to feed it back to them, just in case they haven't noticed that, that the, whatever process they're using for making the holes is damaging the diaphragm. So anyway, there we go. That's the end of headphone news from Custom Cans. Horrific Grado incident. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. Is this is this okay? You know, if they sound okay, is that okay? Or um, you know, should. If you had a pair of headphones like this, some of these are on some quite expensive ones, you know, thousand pound-ish headphones that we've seen it on. Would you be a little bit miffed if it turned out that your driver had random holes stuck through it that shouldn't be there? Uh, yeah, anyway, it's great hanging out. Please leave a comment, like and subscribe. Loving your work.